If you're looking for an easy way to help you save a bunch of money, here it is. Delete all your food delivery apps off your phone. If you use apps like Uber Eats, Postmates, Fedora, DoorDash, Grubhub, Deliveroo, and whatever other services that are out there, just go ahead and delete those apps right off your phone. And if you do, I'm going to bet that some of you are going to save quite a bit of coin. Now, hear me out. You'll still have access to these services if you really want them. And I know it can be super convenient to just pick up your phone and with a few taps have one of your favorite meals delivered right to your door. But that's the whole point. It's too convenient. It's so convenient that many of us use them a lot more than we would like to. And we know that. That's the whole point. I know some of you watching this right now don't need any further convincing and you're going to delete the apps right now. You've just been waiting for some kind of prompt and here it is. But for those of you who think it might be too much of a stretch to go cold turkey, you actually won't be going cold turkey. See, if you delete the app from your phone, you'll still be able to use the service. You'll just have to use your mobile browser or laptop or desktop and log into the websites and then place your orders. And that extra hassle factor is what's going to save you money. I'll give you an example. A guy I know just last week posted a recent food delivery order on Twitter. And he posted it there specifically because he knew it was kind of a bit indefensible. Because he ordered just two coffees and nothing else. Just two coffees. And the bill was for about twice as much as it would have been had he bought it in the store. So here's why he did it. When he posted it on Twitter, he said it was three minutes to game time and he didn't feel like making the coffee run. And so it sounds to me like it just might be a Sunday night ritual for him to watch the game with a coffee in hand. And so if that's his thing and it makes him happy to do that, he's more than willing to pay for the convenience of having that coffee delivered. And again, he knew it wasn't entirely efficient. That's why he posed about it, kind of making fun of himself. But we all have instances where some service provider makes something so easy to do, we end up doing that thing way more often than we know that we should. Here's another example that might hit a bit closer to home. I remember a few occasions where I opened the fridge, saw that there were ingredients with which I could make a meal, and instead ended up ordering off a meal delivery app. And I honestly believe that had I not had those apps on my phone, having to log onto the service's website to place the order would have been hassle enough that I wouldn't have done it, and I would have ended up making my own meal. Incidentally, as I was thinking about putting this video together, I still had those apps on my phone, but I just deleted them all today. So I'm in this with you. And again, I'm not bothered by it at all. It was really not that hard to do knowing that I could still go to the services websites if I really wanted to. So I could still do it. It would just be more of a hassle, which hopefully means I will use them a lot less. And that's really another takeaway from this video in general. And that is that the things that are too easy to do that we want to do less of, we need to find ways to make them harder to do. So by deleting the apps, we make it just a bit harder to order food in and hopefully we'll do it less. Out of curiosity, if you use food delivery apps, leave a comment down below with the smallest order you've ever placed that you can remember. And maybe in the next video, I'll share with you the most pathetic food delivery order I ever made. And I'm curious if anyone can top it. I don't actually know if that's possible. It is really pathetic. So leave your comments down below. If they're good, I'll share with you my pathetic story. It's, I, I am not proud of it. I appreciate you hitting the like button on this video and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. My name is Preet and thank you for watching.